I'm Wang Wei from China, and I'm applying for public relations in Boston University. In terms of community development, my goal is to popularize public relations in China. Nowadays, public relations is still not very eye-catching for common Chinese, and many small or medium-sized Chinese companies have not realized that integrating marketing communications, public relations campaigns, big data analysis, and some other new communication studies are increasingly important to their marketing communication. For this goal, I do have a plan that can be divided into two parts. First, for the public, I will plan and hold PR professional activities. On the internet, I plan to establish an official Weibo account to share PR professional skill, industry trend, and classical case with public. I will also interact with followers of this account. I will answer their questions and reply their comments. In the meanwhile, I plan to hold a salon and a speech in colleague and urban communities. I want to share interesting public relations cases with them. For example, how does PR agency help Coca-Cola plan a Christmas campaign? How do communication technologies enable semi-professionals and amateurs to publish media content on their own? Second, for clients. I hope to apply professional skills I have learned to help Chinese local enterprises. And my long-term goal is to make them be aware of the importance of applying public relations and other communication technologies to expand the market, to target customers, and to maintain favorable relations with media. Of course, my personal ability is limited. That's why I hope to found a special PR group with like-minded friends to carry out this plan together. My dad produced a good positive influence on me. It is not because how much communication knowledge he taught me, but because how he taught me to be a better person. When I was a kid, my father took me to visit the breathtaking sceneries of China, while other kids were forced to learn Chinese and mathematics. I have traveled the 30 of 34 provinces in China with my father during the past 21 years. Travel enchanted me with the charm and the essence of nature, and those travels were also a process of communication. My father was outgoing and communicative. He encouraged me to talk with other passengers on the train and climbers on the mountains. These experiences drove me to be outgoing, positive, and to love the nature and my life. They are my precious fortune forever. When I was 19, I decided to hunt for Africa alone to do volunteer service. My father stood by me immediately and decidedly, since he always tells me to be independent, to keep trying, to take an adventure, and to challenge myself. I was grown up in Fujian of Zhejiang province. Fujian is at the center of Golden Triangle, Shanghai, Suzhou, and Hangzhou. As a 1,300-year-old water town, Wuzhen is one of China's top 10 historical and cultural towns. My hometown Wuzhen is famous for its traditional living style with water. The distinct natural environment contributes to its unique way of life. Boats are widely used here since Wuzhen is densely covered with waterways, and we built our houses along rivers. These traditional buildings remain well preserved after so many rough years. Within the town, with a dense network of rivers, we not only built our houses, but also established markets close to bridges. The most beautiful moment to visit my hometown is dawn. In the early morning, a sea mist would arise from the waterways and create a fantastic dream. If you come to visit my hometown, you will find the beautiful sceneries lying in every corner of this ancient town. And I promise you will finally understand why people call it Oriental Venice. This 
I'm an answer to the three questions. I'm Wang Wei. Thanks for your watching. Bye bye.